Hey, here's Todd with Redeeming Dogs. I've got Maximus with me. Remember, Maximus is this little uh, uh, Brussels Griffon and uh, Shizu cross. So he's a really fun little dog. Uh, I've been working him off leash, uh, started him off leash early, and he, he really has a, a good focus to work. Uh, you know, there's things he's learning slower, just like every other dog. Come here. There's things he's learning slower and things he learns faster. Uh, so let's just kind of see how he's doing. Come on, Max. mentioned before, he's got this funny habit of rolling over because his owners, whenever he runs up to them, he rolls over and they pet his belly, so he does a lot of that. Lay down. And I've spent a fair amount of time trying to get him to lay down straight and not roll over like that. Stay. Yes. Good. So, now we're learning a proper down where he's not rolled over on his side like that. Come on. Come on, Maxis. has the distinction, you know, he was very easy to teach how to do uh, off-leash work, but he's easily the hardest dog I've ever taught to do a down. Uh, he's really still struggling with doing a down. And it's kind of funny how dogs will excel at some tasks and don't excel at others. Come here, lay down. Uh, so he's still figuring out the down. So, you know, he's not a dog that's willful. It's not that he uh, doesn't want to do the down for me. He truly doesn't understand really what I want yet. So we continue to work on that. Sometimes he hits it and sometimes he misses it. Come on. Lay down. All right, come on. Let's go. It's funny how dogs are so different. When I work with Maximus, come here. Good boy. Good boy. Maximus works off vibration only, so when I use the collar, all I have to do is vibrate a little bit, and he's totally tuned into that. He can ignore distractions. Uh, but, you know, uh, when I work with Honey, Honey, when, she, when I vibrate that collar, she has absolutely no, no uh, effect on her. She doesn't really care. She doesn't look around. She doesn't wonder what's going on. It just vibrates. So... With this dog, that's a very way to, great way to train. When I'm training honey, uh, we just use low-level stem uh, to get the same sort of uh, thing. But every dog is different. So, uh, but you know, he's really coming along great. I think that he's going to be uh, a superstar on off-leash healing. And once we get this down straightened out, he's going to be really good.